research that we're involved in has ranged from treating uh, pharyngitis to uh, uh, acne to osteoarthritis, chronic back pain, other pain disorders, a lot of sexual uh, medicine, uh, which include uh, low testosterone, hypoactive sexual desire disorder in women, erectile dysfunction in men, and we've also been involved with a number of infectious disease studies, some device studies, uh, prostate cancer, uh, hypertension, lipid studies, uh, cholesterol issues. We're currently uh, looking to always add individuals to our research database. And that includes people that would like to be involved either because they have an issue themselves, they've got a problem that maybe runs in the family, um, they'd like to give back in some way to um, help the whole process, or they, they, they may in some cases get involved because there is some compensation. It's never large amounts, but in this day and age, uh, sometimes that does help people. They also get medication. Many times it will help treat whatever issues that we're looking into researching, including cholesterol issues, high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, and or the sexual medicine areas. At, at Quality Life Medical Research Center, we've been involved in all phases of research, from phase one through phase four. Phase one is early uh, studies, usually just a handful of subjects. Very few sites in the, are usually involved in that. It can be one up to maybe a, a dozen at the most. Then phase two usually gets involved in using uh, or testing devices, drugs in the population where it's intended to be used for a particular disease or uh, issue that maybe a device would be used for. And that usually involves a little larger number of centers throughout the U.S. Sometimes it's worldwide. And then when you get to phase three, that can be hundreds, sometimes thousands of centers throughout the U.S. or the world. It involves thousands and thousands of, of subjects. We're currently involved with a study, uh, with COPD, where it's an it's a international study looking for 16,000 subjects. We recently uh, recruited for a, a study in the U.S. only that was looking at HPV in women, and that involved recruiting over 47,000 women to help find the women we needed for that study. As I got involved in research, I realized that was an area of medicine I really wanted to concentrate on and, and get into more and more, but it does take time. Uh, it's a, a very much of a, a unique business that you can't just jump right into. it. You have to kind of evolve into that area. And over the last nine, ten years, we've been able to do that, and that does, is a major portion of what we do. We've been involved in over 100 clinical trials, and we just recently had another physician who himself, in a prior location out of state, had been involved in over 100 trials. So right now, as a unit, we have a lot of expertise and a lot of um, experience that we can offer to the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, We've brought between us, I think we've been involved in helping bring probably 15, 20 different uh, major drugs to the market and some devices. <laughs>